Happy Wednesday, St. Paul's, and welcome to this week's Miss Kitty's Reading Corner. Last week we talked about David and Goliath. Now let's see what our story is this week. So settle in, grab a comfy spot, and let's start our story. Our story this week is King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. God makes Solomon wise. After David died, his son Solomon became king, although he was still very young. One night, God said to him in a dream, ask for whatever you want and I will give it to you. I want to be wise, to know what is right from wrong so that I may be a good king. God said, because you did not ask to be rich or powerful, but to care for your people, I will bless you with both great wisdom and great wealth. Solomon became famous for his wisdom and people came from all over the world to ask him questions. In a faraway kingdom, the powerful Queen of Sheba heard of Solomon and decided to test him. She asked him questions that no one in her kingdom could answer. After each question, Solomon closed his eyes for a moment and then told her the answer. The Queen of Sheba was amazed. What makes you so wise? All wisdom comes from God, Solomon replied. Praise God, she said for he has given your people a wise and righteous king. So let us put our hands together and say our children's prayer and our prayer for this week. Dear God, help me to be wise and make good decisions. Let's say that again. Dear God, help me to be wise and make good decisions. Now I wonder what our story will be next week. Let us put our hands together and say our children's creed. I believe in God above. I believe in Jesus love. I believe his spirit too will come to teach us what to do. Amen. And let us end our time together saying our children's prayer. For each new morning with its light, for rest and shelter of the night, for health and food, for love and friends, for every gift your goodness sends. We thank you, gracious Lord. Amen. Well, thank you, St. Paul's, and have a wonderful Wednesday. We will see you next week. Bye.